everybody, I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And we're Zephyr's Travels, and this week we're staying at Usury Mountain Regional Park. This is the second time we've been here on this trip. We stayed here at the beginning of our trip. The park is located in Mesa, Arizona, which is really close to Apache Junction, where there are stores and restaurants and, you know, a lot of commercial type things that you can visit and it's close by. Yeah, and we like this area because my father used to live out here and this is the area that he lived in. And so we visited out here when we visited him before we had our Airstream. And we kind of enjoy, it's kind of familiar to us when we come back here, though everything seems to have changed. Right, the area, you know, has grown since Randy's dad lived out here. We enjoyed it because this week, you know, after, this is getting close to the end of our trip, and we just wanted to do some normal things, like go to the movies, so we were able to do that while we were here. Right, and kind of take a relaxing week. Like Randy said, we went to the movies a couple of times. There is a flea market located right in Apache Junction that we visited. Yeah, we'll show you some video of that. Today we're at the Mesa Flea Market, and this has been a staple of this area for years. We used to come out here over 20 years ago, even before that, mm -hmm. and come to this. Um, it's only open on the weekends, Friday through Saturday, right. Friday through Sunday. Right, Friday through Sunday, Right. 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yep and they've got everything here so we're going to wander through and see what we can see we've been here before and we've bought things from games to bicycle stuff to we even bought a hot tub here and had it shipped home so you can find it here so we're going to check it all out see yes, what we, we get purchased a hot tub and had it shipped to our house. We had it for several years and then we just didn't use it so finally we sold it. Well, what did we get? Anything? We bought a couple things. A gift for our neighbor and uh, a couple stuff for us. Yeah, a couple spatulas for Randy. Yeah. I didn't really find anything. A lot of it you walk down the aisles and a lot of it is repeated. And oh, it's typical. Yeah, I guess. We didn't buy a hot tub this time. No, there was only one vendor that had hot tubs, and we didn't buy one. So right, same when we bought it from last time. Yeah. Yeah. But it was fun. It's always fun to visit these flea markets. Yeah, I always thought that if we ever lived out here, we could furnish our house with one of these places, because at least at the time, there was a lot more furniture and stuff there. Not as much this time as we went through, but there was right. a lot of household stuff. Yeah, a lot of household stuff. A lot of 
uh, outdoor furniture. Yep. Unique outdoor furniture. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's go. And yesterday we finally got to do some kayaking. Yeah, we there's it's Sewerl Lake, uh, just about ten miles from here, maybe not even that far, up in the Tonto Forest. And so we took a ride up there yesterday with the kayak. It was very busy being Saturday and a warm day, but we were able to find a spot. We put the boat into the water and we were able to pal around and had a good time. Yeah, it was a nice, bright, sunny day. Yeah, very different to kayak around cactus. We're right. And we'll show you some video of that. nice park they do offer hiking there is a visitor nature center and um, the sites are water and electric only but the sites are nice size this site is what I call a backward site where all your utilities are on the curb side of the site instead of the street side which is where you'd normally have them on your RV and that's where your hookups are on your RV so we had to run the power cord and the water around from this side over to the other side to hook into everything. One of the nice things about the Airstream is they do have a front electrical hookup, at least on the 30 amp models, and that allowed us to just run the regular cord and then into this plug and it worked in. But as you can see over here, we had to run a hose all the way along. Actually I had to run a hose and a half. That's a 15 foot additional section. We have the same site we had last time, site number 60, it's a pull-through site, and pull-through sites in this park, they tend to be just right along the road, so one side of your RV is on the road, the other side is to the campsite, uh, which is okay, you can hear the traffic go by you, uh, but it, it's nice, we enjoyed the site, they're very private, you've got a lot of uh, desert uh, scenery right off your campsite, though that does come with a price, and that is... They did give us a warning when we checked in that because of the very warm weather, the snakes do come out. And there's many varieties in this park, including rattlesnakes. So we took the opportunity to look up what you do both for dogs and humans if you do get a rattlesnake bite. <music> When we got here at Usury Mountain Regional Park, the ranger at the Kiosh um, warned us that they've been having a lot of issues with snakes because it is springtime and that's when they start to come out for the summer. They like the heat. And we've had hot days, you know, in, well into the 90s for the last couple of weeks. So the snake population is starting to pop out again. 
So they warned us that um, there's been some sightings and there's actually been some pets that have been bitten by snakes. And so that got us kind of concerned that, you know, obviously Mont Monty and Zephyr have never been snake trained. Apparently that's a thing out here. You can take your dogs and have them snake trained where they will let them interact with a rattlesnake that has the venom removed. So they get an understanding and they will actually warn you if there's a snake, if they hear a snake around, and they will stay away from it. But we haven't had that done with our dogs. One of the things we did when we got here because of the warning on the snakes is we updated our whiteboard and we put the closest emergency veterinary clinic on here. We've got the address and the phone number here. We also put the address for the closest medical center for people just in case either of us got in an issue with a snake bite. And we put uh, what to do, and basically if you get bit by a rattlesnake, the first thing you need to do is rinse the wound with water. You know, just actually just use a squirt bottle and flush it with water. That way or get any additional venom out of it and before it gets into your bloodstream. So we did this, we think this was a good idea and we'll probably continue this as we go to different campgrounds. Another concern here this week has been the cactus. Um, both Monty and Zephyr have had issues stepping on a piece of cactus. I think what happens is there's a certain type of cactus here that actually drops little bits of itself. And they're like uh, probably about an inch long and they look like a spiny ball. And Monty just got his, I think his fur just picked it up. It was on the back of his paw. It wasn't really into his skin at all, and it was easy to get off him and all right. But Zephyr, she stepped flat on the piece of cactus, right onto her paw. And the spines are going into her pads, and it was, it was rough. Um, she flung her paw, and of course a piece of cactus went around and caught me, and got, him, got me in my leg. So I got it off of myself using my pocket knife. Um, and then I had to basically put Zephyr in a bear hug from behind and hold her up so I could pull the little quills out of her paw. And they were in there pretty good. They'd gotten down between the paws and actually in a couple of spots drew blood. So, but I got them out and we were able to come back and then we double checked everything when we got back to the trailer, you know, and checked her out, made sure she was okay. And she seems to be fine now. She's walking fine and everything. But she was in a little bit of pain with that. I hadn't, I don't think I've ever seen her in pain like that before. It kind of kept us off the trails this trip. Now we last time we were here we did walk the trails a little bit more but this trip we didn't do so much and kind of missed that a little bit but it's also been very very hot. It's been well in the 90s. Right. Yeah. We did have a couple cool days which was nice but uh, it was a relaxing week. Yep. Well Diane what should they do if they like this video? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis and we'd love to have you follow along in our adventures. So until next time, we'll see you down the road. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.